Good day, this is Dr. Hans Berendes. I'm Dr. Rutledge's anesthesiologist. We're here in the operating room today, and I'm going to discuss with you total intravenous anesthesia, also known as TIVA. Uh, TIVA is utilized in bariatric patients um, for smooth wake-ups, decreased amount of nausea, and increasing safety in patients that are undergoing uh, laparoscopic mini gastric bypass. Dr. Rutledge has utilized the total intravenous anesthetic, or TIVA, in thousands of gastric bypasses uh, that have been performed nationwide. The benefits of using a total intravenous anesthesia are many fold. Initially, there is a great speed of induction of the anesthetic, it's easy to maintain, and these operations last anywhere from uh, 18 to 40 minutes, and this is the perfect anesthetic for this duration of surgical time. The TIVA is also utilized to decrease the amount of post-operative nausea and vomiting, and we see a lot less than utilizing gas anesthetics, or what's called inhalational agents, to uh, maintain the anesthetic. We avoid using any anesthetic gases in all of Dr. Rutledge's patients. All of the patients um, get total intravenous anesthesia, and they wake up very smoothly, very quickly. Uh, there are no problems with airway compromise. They are very alert. Their cognitive status is much improved over, util over the utilization of inhalational agents. They have much less uh, nausea and vomiting, and we notice that in the recovery room uh, immediately. D Dr. Rutledge has uh, performed a study on his gastric bypass patients and has found that um, the nausea and vomiting is down to about 5 to 7 percent um, in comparison to of utilizing gas anesthetics um, that are uh, roughly around 30%. So the total intravenous anesthesia decreases the risk of nausea and vomiting right around uh, 20% in most of uh, mini gastric bypass patients. And the other thing, of course, is safety because if you think about it, you and I have done about three or 400 cases together, and how many reintubations have we had? I haven't had one. So, and reintubation is the concern in using gas anesthetics because they can have the gas anesthetics which dissolve in the fatty tissue sometimes sneak back in. And one of our patients for tomorrow had a respiratory arrest following her routine wake up from a general surgical procedure. She was very frightened about the anesthesia. And I explained to her that that was a risk that was much more common after gas anesthetics than TIVA. Right. A narcotic dose plus some gas anesthetics, but if you think about it, using such short acting drugs, the total intravenous anesthetic, and no fat storage of the chemicals that we're using, hopefully that gives us a better risk ratio for respiratory depression post op. And certainly it's shown in the good results you've had with anesthesia. Well, yeah, and low concentrations of gas 